my dear students welcome back to english class actually in indrali right now it is uh, raining cats and dogs you heard it right it is raining cats and dogs it's an expression in english to denote heavy rain when it rains heavily we say it is raining cats and dogs anyway in the middle of this uh, adverse climate also we are continuing our uh, e classes and uh, uh, in our last class we completed studying paleshwar mishra's lesson that is uh, there is a girl by the tracks and today i am going to take up the exercise part of it you know uh, the question and answer part will be sent to you via whatsapp but uh, there are certain exercises which i want to do right now and there are some exercises i have reserved for homework which i am going to tell you by and by as i move on so by so watching my video you have to sit with a textbook with your textbook and with a pencil and whichever exercise i am going to do or whichever exercise i am going to denote as homework you have to do it with a pencil in your textbook itself so use your notebook for writing question and answers which i am going to send you hope i have made myself very clear i am going to start with the exercises now my exercise starts with uh, page number 30 on your textbook it is uh, think about the text uh, there are some incidents uh, which are given in jumbled order rama lost his roma lost his foothold the train hurtled ahead that exercise so the sequences here are jumbled up you have to put them in right sequences using a pencil so that's uh, your homework then the very next homework that is also a similar one there also they have given uh, you know a sequence in jumbled manner you have to set it in proper manner so exercise 1 and 2 in think about the text then turn your page to page number 31 on page number 31 you will find a table like this you will find a table like this in which uh, there is a heading called enrich your vocabulary enrich your vocabulary you will find a set of words go through those set of words and now we have to categorize them into various actions they have given a table there uh, you know in respect of various actions observing moving holding speaking requesting so you have to put them in you uh, know proper order the first word uh, if i say <coughs> grab grab is to take it some, from someone is to hold it comes under holding next word is to pray pray comes under requesting see note down while i say then comes uh, uh, you know the word squeeze squeeze comes under hold uh, moving then glance glance comes under observing then chat chat see the word chat where does it where does it come speaking that's right <coughs> then comes a snatch snatching somebody something holding it comes under holding then appeal appealing somebody is to request then plead pleading pleading refers to requesting again peeping peeping into others on the paper peeping observing next beg begging requesting show show is to push somebody that comes under moving then talk talk comes under speaking clutch clutch is to hold where does it come holding then implore what is to implore implore is to request comes under requesting again rush rush where does it come moving that's right stare somebody stare at somebody looking fixedly at somebody it comes under observing <coughs> then comes a hold holding obviously it comes under holding next appeal requesting dash where does it come where are going to put it moving dash gaze gaze steady look gazing right observing next articulate articulate is to speak clearly 
express one's feelings clearly where does it comes it comes under speaking articulate then run of course moving then speak speaking ask where does it come ask speaking look where do you put it see the word look and see all the categories observing that's right next go moving so these are the words we have categorized just now as various actions now turn your page go to page number 32 ex task 2 so you have to use those words just now you categorized some words you know you have to use the, those words to fill up the blanks given here to fill up the blanks given here see the first one five of us squeeze ourselves into the back seats see the first one is done for you answer is given similarly you have to find the right word appropriate word and fill up i will help you english people love to dash about the weather they love to chat chat about the weather third our own dash shaila clothes and wiped away her tears arun dash shaila clothes arun held such shaila clothes for one i haven't dash to steve about all this i haven't dash i haven't spoken all club members have been dash to attend the annual meeting all club members have been asked to do next suda dash over her shoulder suda dash suda glance over her shoulders glance to look over the shoulders next the thief has a dash away her purse and ran the thief has a dash away her purse purse snatched away her purse and ran would you mind to dash to fetch the kids from school would you mind to dash to fetch fetch is to get to bring the kids from school answer is would you mind going to fetch we na dash me to fetch water we na dash me to fetch water get water is to what's the answer implore is to request many people are unable to dash they have unhappiness they feel many people are unable to dash unhappiness they feel what is the answer articulate articulate is to many people are unable to express their happiness they do not want to express their feelings very clearly that is all so that's the end of all the 10 uh, points there next we move on to the task 3 task 3 the paragraph is given below based on the text some words are underlined there substitute these words with the phrases and idioms make use of the clues given in bracket if necessary changes or addition so they have given uh, you know words with the underline and they have given clue in the bracket following the clue you have to fill it up by filling it up you have to make necessary changes you cannot put uh, you know put the same word there but here and there you have to put some words but uh, in other places you have to make certain changes what is that baleshwar mishra was a bold young man even when his life was at risk even when his life was at risk in bracket they have given face to face dash death what word to be put there face to face dash death face to face with the death face to face with the death he never had a second thought rather he determined to save the life of the girl rather he determined determined is underlined in bracket they have given may dash mind may what mind make up this mind answer is make up this mind what is to make up is it facial makeup no in english make up one's mind refers to decide my father has made up his mind to buy a new laptop 
my parents have made up their minds to build a new house i have made up my mind to secure above 600 in ssc so that is to decide so make up this mind to save the little to save the life of the girl he was he was doing all he could while others stood watching him silently see watching him silently there even in bracket there is tongue and time how to write what changes you can make you have to change it to past you have to write tongue tied tongue tied is to remain silent not to speak anything t i e d tongue tied none supported except a importer driver none supported what is to support in bracket they have given back dash up what word you can use back dash up what is the backup for your computer what is the backup for your uh, uh, desktop it is ups right what backup system you have when the power goes off inverter solar or generator so backup means support how to change the word here here you can write back to him up only the truck driver non supported or non back to him up except a temporary driver after a while he carried the girl to a hospital and forced the duty doctor to admit the girl he forced the duty doctor in bracket they have given arm twist don't take it literally he did not miss the arms of the doctor arms of the doctor arm twist here means arm twist here means forcing somebody how to change the word there arm twist do it put in past tense arm twisted is the answer what can we make out from this incident some people like baleshwar remain undisturbed in moments of crisis during difficult times people like baleshwar remain undisturbed undisturbed refers to in bracket they have given keep cool so some people like baleshwar keep cool in moments of crisis same word to be used some people like baleshwar keep cool in moments of crisis so hope uh, you are clear about that so that exercise is over next you have exercise on page number 35 that the picture it is it comes under read and respond heading read and respond in that task is given there is a picture on the left side and uh, there is a description on the Uh, right side that is b b column so in a column they have given pictures so in b column they have given related statements you have to write them true or false right or wrong if it is right put tick in the bracket if it is wrong put x mark in the bracket okay right mark if it is correct x mark a wrong mark if it is not correct so you have to observe the picture and do it one is done there the first example is done there a woman is walking alone right or wrong a woman is walking alone see the picture it's not right so they have put the cross mark how to correct it see you have to write the correct sentences there at there itself with a pencil adjust the space and uh, do it how have they corrected a woman is walking with a child so if it if a sentence is wrong you have to write the correct version of it there is there is space below you use textbook itself for doing this turn your page to 36 task 2 in this picture there is one more exercise on the right side of the picture they have given words in jumbled order you have to add words and helping words then articles which are necessary and make a meaningful sentence using the clue here see the observe the picture and then see the first one there 
many people picture they have given keywords they there sorry there many people picture how have they done it there are many people in the picture so it should be in present tense because you are seeing it live there you are going to write what is happening so it should be in present tense so that's why they have given likewise i do the second one for you if you want some people march procession some people march procession how to write it some people are some people are marching in a procession marching in a procession so likewise you do c d e f for example so remember that it should be in uh, present tense this is also a homework so please make difference between homework and the work uh, you have to write on your textbook then uh, next you go to page number 38 38 task 2 that says choose the correct verb out of the two verb or two given in the bracket they have given two verbs in the bracket you have to choose the most appropriate one or the right one neither he nor you dash wrong see here neither he nor you dash wrong he is or are what is the answer neither you nor neither he nor you answer is is answer is is neither nor means either this fellow or that fellow not both right either this or that both neither he nor you is wrong next his father and uncle dash their own business his father and uncle dash in bracket has and have father and uncle two people what should come there have or has have if it is plural then have if it is singular then has my uncle has a business of his own my uncle and father have the first innings dash very interesting ah this is this one the first in innings dash very interesting innings what is the answer was or were was see the word innings itself is a plural it is an s ending word so just because it is it ends with s so it cannot be a plural word you are right a singular form the innings was very interesting either amrita or her friends dash taken it either amrita or her friends the plural amrita or her friends many friends what should be the answer have have taken it every one of the boys dash silent in the hall every one of the boys dash is sitting silent in the hall what is the answer was or were every one of the boys means sir, there were many boys each one of them ha huh, was so among many you are counting each one when each one comes it is singular so verb is was helping verb is was every leaf dash fallen from this tree every leaf dash fallen from this tree see every means again single leaf every single. so every leaf has fallen from the tree each of the boys dash done his homework each of the boys many boys among them individually you are counting them each of the boys has done the homework because each means single next he as well as you dash intelligent he as well as you both of you he as well as you means you are counting both of them dash intelligent or intelligent next bread and butter dash is daily diet bread and butter dash is daily diet bread and butter two things if one thing comes was if two thing comes were w e r e were his 
daily diet, daily food. Either you or he dash done it. Either you or he dash done it. One or another. One or one. What to write? Singular or another single person. Either you or he has done it. Then one of the boys dash punished. One of the boys. There are many boys. Among one. How to say? Say for example, one of my friends is a doctor. One of my friends is an engineer. See, I have many friends. Among them, one is engineer. Among them, one is doctor. That is the correct expression. Similarly here, one of the boys was punished. Next, neither the children nor their mothers dash admitted to the hospital. Neither the children, see not child, the children many, nor their mothers, nor the mothers of those children many again dash admitted to the hospital. What are work? It is plural as I said you, as I told you. Work is, answer is work. If it is singular, work. If it is plural, work. Next one, see is the same, the following exercise is uh, task 3 that will also be done here. Read the paragraph and uh, fill in the blanks with the correct form of the words underlined. So, uh, the words have been uh, you know, given there. You have to change the forms of those words if necessary and fill up the blanks. In some cases, you have to put the same words. Let us go through. Everyone, example, everyone who have ever been to a graduation family, everyone who have or has actually, one need is, everyone has, everyone who has ever been to a graduation family, dash how exciting it can be for the graduate. Dash, in bracket it is, it is given no. How to change it? Every, you know, how to change it? Graduation ceremony. Knows. Everyone knows. Next, in our town, nearly the whole population dash each year. In our town, nearly the whole population, the full you know, group of people comes, the answer is comes, each year. There dash one thing that both graduates and guests enjoy. There dash one thing, dash one thing, one means how many? It's singular. Graduates and guests, what's the next word? They have given enjoy. Same, same word or different? Graduates and guests enjoy, enjoy the awarding of scholarship. This ceremony along with the concluding exercises, this ceremony, it is referred to the ceremony singular, along with the concluding exercises, what's the answer then? Make or makes? Makes attending the graduation one point. This ceremony makes. See, you have to make a certain difference. See, in English, for example, bird, flies, birds, fly. So, this is what you have to understand. Singular noun, plural verb. Plural noun, singular verb. For example, single verb, single bird. A bird flies. Many birds fly. For another example, child cries. Children cry. See, child is one single child. Cries. Children, it's a plural word. Children cry. Student studies. Student studies. Students is plural. Students 
study. Teacher, teacher, one teacher. Teachers, 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 teach. So this is how it changes in English. So several of the students who receive who dash award plan. Several of the students who dash awards. Several of the students who receive awards. Right? Receive awards. Dash to attend the community college. Dash to attend. Plan to attend the community college. Many former graduates dash grateful for the opportunities. Many Former previous graduates, students, dash grateful, are grateful, thankful for opportunities that such an award dash to them, such an award provides to them. So these are the exercises. Next, uh, you have to do, we have to deal with the one more exercise that is uh, make a reference. They have given. Many meanings of the word composed. See, in English, one word bears many meanings because it is used in different situations. Meaning changes. The same way, compose. Compose is a verb actually. Noun is composition. Compose, composition. So the pronunciation also differs. So here we have given different meanings of the word compose. We have to set them properly in the sentence. So which meaning holds good in which sentence? We have to match it properly. For example, Nayana sat at the desk taking several deep breaths to compose herself. What is the meaning of compose in this sentence? It is Number six, the sixth meaning there. Try to become calm after feeling very angry or excited. So Nayana was also feeling, trying to be composed at that time. See the second one. You must have come across this in science. Water is composed of hydrogen and oxygen. What's the man meaning? Composed of hydrogen and oxygen. Meaning is consist of. Third one. A.R. Rahman has composed music for the film Kochadian. A.R. Rahman is the music director of the movie Kochadian. What's the meaning of compose here? Composing music. It means write a piece of music. Create a piece of music. Next, fourth one. The legal system is composed of people and people make legal system. What's the meaning here? Meaning of compose here? It means make up. It is made up of. Legal system is made up of people. And people make rules. So, answer is number 3. More than 17.6 million film firms compose the business sector of our economy. What is the meaning of compose here? The meaning is the second one. Combine together to form many firms, you know, come together and uh, form business sector. I like the way Ravi composes his photographs. I like the way Ravi composes. What is to compose? How to compose uh, photographs in a wedding album? So if you are composing, putting photos or printing photos in a wedding album, it should be composed in sequential manner, right? That is called composing. So these are the exercises uh, related to Maleshwar's lesson. So make it uh, very clear that there are certain exercises you have to do on your part. There are certain exercises which I have done. Write both all these exercises in your textbook itself with the help of a pencil. Right? Now wait for some time uh, until I give you question and answers. Once you write question and answers, then it's over. You need not write all these exercises again in your notebook. But while writing in your textbook, write them clearly. That's why I asked you to write it with a pencil. Right? 
next uh, in my next class i am going to start either uh, grammar or uh, poem so if i am starting grammar if i am starting grammar you have to take down grammar exercises or notes in a separate book which is meant for grammar that is a 100 pages ruled book i repeat 100 pages ruled book you have to make a separate book you have it in your book list that is for grammar so if i take up grammar in my next class you have to use that so if i do the poem then you have to use the textbook so thank you very much hope you are taking very good care of yourself bye